investigator can carry the wireless uh, detective to indoors or outdoors operations on the interception on Wi-Fi network. Now, um, I just uh, give you a brief uh, introduction about the appliance. The appliance actually is reside uh, inside our commercial laptop. View um, above 1.5 gigahertz performance. And also it comes with at least two gigabyte memory for its uh, normal operations. And also it comes with over 300 gigabyte hard disk capacity. Besides these uh, basic features on the hardware, it also comes with two USB ports. This, these uh, USB ports is uh, very useful. If you want to add more interception capab capability, and also, it also comes with a one network car. Uh, sorry, a wire network interface. So you can connect with the uh, wire network car for data uh, migration or for the uh, backup uh, to the uh, backend storage. Basically, uh, decision group wireless detective actually with the uh, 12 of this 12 inch screen. So you can use our um, laptop to check out all the information you needed. Besides, um, this uh, appliance also can have some uh, external Wi Fi network card for IEEE 802.11n. With this uh, network card, it can up to uh, more than 500 meters if you use uh, 5 gigahertz frequency. Okay, now it is the uh, basic uh, introduction with the uh, hardware requirement of this uh, laptop. Basically, Decision Group Wireless Detective also can recognize over 180 protocols on the Wi-Fi network, which include the most popular email protocol like a POP, POP3, like a EMAP, like an SMTP. We also intercept several different types of webmail as well as the instant messenger. And later on, we will show you how they intercept and what kinds of protocol it can intercept. Thank you very much. How to operate our system. First, we turn on the power. After the turn on the power, the system will check or the system whether it is normal. And it will also check the wireless car. Basically, the wireless car in our system actually is the specific one. With this specific one, we can intercept all the access point and the wireless workstations in the environment. The power on menu after you turn on the uh, laptop actually will come on a log on screen. The log on screen actually it is the uh, first gate for the authentic process of decision group wireless detective. The first thing you need to do is try to input your username and the password into the system. So here 
we input our username and the password. So after you input your username and password, the first uh, functional menu is shown on the screen. Well, now let's uh, start our demonstration with the uh, wireless detective. So uh, first, uh, let me introduce the testing environment. Now we are in the room with the uh, 3 times 4 square meters. Within these uh, meters, uh, there are three units. One, the first one, actually is a decision group wireless detective. Another one is the uh, target laptop. Um, our colleague We'll try to access uh, couples of online services. Um, and in the meantime, the uh, wireless detective will try to intercept all the uh, communications. So there is another system. Uh, actually, it is uh, access points uh, on the other corners of the room. So uh, before we start, uh, the whole uh, lower interception. Let me just uh, briefly uh, introdu introduce how uh, we conduct this interception. First, in our wireless detective, in the first uh, menu, you can see there is a menu, uh, there is a list on the screen. The list will show you two things. One is access point. Um, our wireless detective will first uh, look for the uh, access point in this room. And secondly, uh, they will try to locate the target laptop, which is accessing the access points. So in this uh, menu, you will see uh, the or the wireless uh, laptop, which access the single uh, access point. And also you will see in the left corners um, there is uh, numbers uh, increasingly uh, the number is increasing uh, which means uh, how many uh, data packets uh, it captures. So uh, let's uh, start our online uh, service. So uh, let's uh, start our online uh, service. Okay, uh, the online service uh, today we will show actually there are couples of online service. The first one we will try to show the email online service uh, through the Outlook. Here my colleague will try to access uh, couples of e emails uh, through the uh, protocol POP3 as well as SMTP. Um, also the email uh, which also contains the attachment. So the attachment will uh, keep inside the uh, email. Uh, by the same time, our wireless detective not only captured the email but also with its uh, attachments. Okay. Um, the second we will try to perform, actually it is the uh, webmail. Webmail, basically it is the, uh, the mail system through the uh, web services. From the uh, webmail you can see all the uh, mail list. And if you click on the uh, mails, it will show you the contents in the bottom part of the screen, so you can check out all the uh, mails as well as the uh, attachment together. Okay, the third we will show you is the uh, MSN. Okay, here you can see the screen of the MSN. We just uh, log on to the MSN online service. 
And it will show you all the interactive dialogues among the friends. In the meantime, our wireless detective also can capture all the contents of the communications with different partners. And also, the friend list will be included in the intercepted content inside our wireless detective. OK, here. Uh, the next one, we will show you uh, the Facebook online service. Here, my colleague will try to log on to Facebook online service. Okay, after log on to the uh, Facebook online service, you can see the bulletin board. You can post the message. Here you can see a lot of information from the uh, Facebook services. In the meantime, our wireless detective will try to intercept all these information. Okay, the last one is the uh, YouTube service. Here we will show you the YouTube online service. You can see um, our colleague is just check out one video clip. This video clip will be captured by our wireless detective. So, okay, we just uh, finished our online service. And now, let's look at our wireless detective. How the wireless detective present the the intercepted data on its uh, database. Service we have already intercepted. Now we look at the uh, sending email. Sending email usually use the POP3. POP3, you can see there is a one piece in the list so we can check out its contents as well as the attachment now we check out the uh, receiving email receiving email we can check how many okay one piece we have already intercepted we can also check out the email you can see um, the contents and the attachments okay let's look at others um, we look at the uh, webmail we have already uh, test just now um, there are three pieces of uh, test uh, webmail. Uh, from the webmail, you can see that our system can check out the uh, contents. Uh, the contents uh, include in two parts, one static and the other is the dynamic data. Dynamic data, uh, our system don't catch it. So we just uh, catch it static data. So you can see a lot of picture and the uh, text inside the email. So let's uh, look at the others. MSN. MSN, okay, there is a one conversation period. Uh, there are also uh, four uh, conversation uh, segments inside the MSN. So let's uh, look at the uh, Facebook. Um, first, uh, we look at the uh, HTTP uh, webmail. You can see there are a lot of uh, Facebook address from the uh, link 
and the uh, web page. There's, there are a lot of uh, Facebook page, but it's too fragmented to check out the uh, Facebook. Now we just uh, look at the uh, YouTube. We just uh, test the, uh, how our system can capture the uh, video stream. Here we show you the uh, video clip we just uh, captured. Now here you can see the couples of the uh, video files we capture from the uh, YouTube. Um, this is the uh, video clip. So you can look at yeah, this is the uh, different uh, video clip, so you can check out all the uh, target uh, access video clip. Now we look at the uh, Facebook. Here you can see there are couples of uh, interactions from the uh, Facebook online service. This is the uh, web page we captured from the uh, target laptop. Now we just look at the uh, system settings. First, uh, we choose the system in the uh, menu, and then you can see a lot of uh, configuration. Here it is network setup, and uh, this is the uh, hard disk capacity checking, and this is the service, and this is the port number setup. And also we come with the update system. Um, the update is very important because you should choose the location where you are, and then uh, connect with the uh, decision group FTP server so you can download the patch uh, from time to time. Now we look at the uh, Wi-Fi car setting. You can set up the uh, default Wi-Fi car and also set up the uh, uh, updated the uh, car uh, for different purpose. So that's the uh, whole system setup. The uh, very important function we call the uh, data scoping. Actually, it is the uh, full text uh, search. We just put the uh, key words or key phrase in the button menu. So it will show you how many instances in each of the online service. You can see there in there is a one in the pop three, one in the SMTP, and three in the webmail. So. Here you can see the mail test in different uh, online services. Um, also, you can check it check it out one by one. So, or the uh, message contained with the uh, mail test will appear in the screen. So, by this way, you can check all the uh, keywords uh, contained message from the menu. Export the data from our system. First, you choose export from the menu. And then you choose all the protocol and click OK. Then the system will start to export all the data to the file. So after finish, you can also choose how to transfer your uh, raw data and burn the CD. If you click on the uh, burn CD, then you will make an uh, ISO file automatically and transfer to the uh, CD. You can see the download complete. That means you have already finished all the job. Now, let's check out how to purge the system data. So first, you check out the menu from the uh, manage, you can choose the delete. Um, for the delete, you can choose uh, what kind of the data you want to purge and choose the different uh, conditions and then click on submit and click OK. After you click OK, then the job is done. Uh, when you finish the job, you can uh, check if you want to uh, delete all, you can uh, just put the, your uh, login ID and the uh, password and click on submit. Then the system will 